Well, uh, I'm going to present some uh, uh, updated uh, heat flow uh, database from, from Mexico. Well, uh, as, as, as you know, uh, heat flow uh, is a important, very important uh, geophysical parameter to, to, uh, to understand or, or, or describe some geological, uh, geochemical and geophysical uh, uh, processes in the earth. And is a <clears throat> important input data to, to estimate geothermal resources. Well, uh, in Mexico, uh, according to their geological characteristics, uh, the country has uh, five uh, high enthalpy geothermal fields uh, under exploitation currently and some other, uh, we can say by, in standby, no? just, just in, uh, they need more uh, studies. And, and talking about the, the heat flow database, uh, there are uh, some works uh, that they use uh, indirect methods uh, to estimate heat flow, heat flow uh, values. Uh, for example, uh, the geochemical uh, studies uh, where they estimate the reservoir temperature and then they uh, calculate uh, an, an average heat flow value or the Curie temperature uh, estimations. The most recently work uh, is from, from uh, Rosa Maria. Uh, they, they publish uh, a heat flow map where they uh, integrate uh, data from uh, Curie temperature estimations, hydrothermal uh, uh, manifestations, and together with direct measurements, boreholes. And that's, that is uh, the uh, a good uh, correlation uh, uh, and a good improvement for for the heat flow map from from Mexico. But now uh, we are currently uh, working to to update uh, the the heat flow uh, database uh, using uh, deep boreholes uh, measurements. So so. Uh, right now, we have more than, than 4,000 uh, sites that we analyze uh, to, to estimate these, these values. So, uh, and well, as you can see, uh, the, the, unfortunately, the distribution of the, of the data is, is not, how to say, normal or is not well proportionate. So uh, in some in some areas is more uh, it has more density of of, si of the sites observations. <coughs> well, this is an, an, an Instagram plot uh, of the uh, total depth of the uh, boreholes used in in this study. Uh, they uh, most of them. Uh, it has uh, 1.5 to 3.5 kilometers of, of depth. Well, we, we apply some uh, statistical uh, analysis just to, to support or to, uh, how to say, to corroborate the, the, the linear trend or, or the linear relationship relationship uh, between the temperature depth or temperature and temperature thermal resistance uh, correlation and to avoid uh, this uh, to avoid uh, maybe convection uh, uh, anomalies in the in the in the temperature logs so uh, we have a lot of data, uh, and we have uh, uh, not uh, 
a normal uh, distribution. So uh, we, we propose to analyze uh, uh, this data uh, in just uh, by, by groups or by sets by, by for uh, proposing some sections in, in the country, the, the Northwest, the Central North, Northeast, uh, Eastern Coast, uh, Southern, Southern East, and the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt, right? So for example, uh, in the Northwest section, uh, we, we can observe that the, the heat flow uh, distribution is more than related to, to, to medium to high uh, enthalpy sites and the, and the high uh, or um, very, very high uh, heat flow, uh, they are uh, located, uh, most of them they are located in the in the geothermal fields and under under exploitations, for example, uh, Cerro Prieto, uh, Las Tres Virgenes, and and this area is a uh, uh, how to say uh, another uh, uh, geothermal uh, area, but is not under exploitation. Uh, uh, Guaymas. Uh, in in north central of Mexico, uh, this uh, is an uh, uh, how to say a uh, 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 sedimentary basin of, of Mexico, and this uh, uh, this data came from from petroleum boreholes, and they they are uh, more uh, how to say uh, medium uh, medium to to high to high enthalpy sites. For Northeastern, <coughs> uh, they are more, uh, uh, more, uh, 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 low to, to medium enthalpy sites. And, and some, some sites uh, has uh, high, High heat flow values, uh, and we consider uh, we consider this this size uh, uh, like a local thermal perturbations. But well, but they are all all uh, conduct conductive heat flow measurements. Uh, in the in the in the eastern coast. Uh, it is a, is a characteristical uh, area because uh, we can observe a lot of a lot of low or, or medium uh, enthalpy sites, and then we can observe uh, our high and, and, and very high uh, enthalpy sites, uh, and we we uh, we think that this is related to the to the here here is the. Uh, the eastern border of the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt. So may, maybe is, is the, this, this uh, thermal perturbation is related to, to the, to the, uh, uh, let's say, to the nature of this, uh, of, the, of, the trans of the volcanic belt. Then uh, the, the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, there are no a lot of uh, 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 measurement sites. They they are more uh, uh, located in the in the geothermal fields. Uh, here is Los Humeros, uh, Los Azufres, and there are well Domo San Pedro and uh, Cerritos Colorados or, or La Primavera, but. Uh, and more of them, uh, the these, uh, for example, these these sites are more the uh, related to to low or medium uh, heat flow sites. And the southern is uh, is a characteristic low to medium uh, heat flow site, uh, and well, in this area is is more. Uh, uh, petroleum area, uh, uh, 
and there are no geothermal projects under development. Well, so finally, the as preliminary results, uh, we we made uh, some interpolation maps. Well, in this case, we just uh, use uh, deep boreholes uh, measurements to to construct these uh, these uh, interpolation maps. Yeah, as as you can uh, as you can see, uh, most of the thermal uh, perturbations are related to the geothermal geothermal areas in Mexico. Yeah, and and some some uh, other uh, thermal uh, disturbance in the continental section in, in Mexico is uh, it looks like uh, they are uh, in the northern. So uh, now uh, uh, we uh, as future work. We we want to to uh, how to say to to correlate these these uh, uh, interpretations to uh, the system falls to uh, volcanic uh, volcanic activity recent volcanic activity uh, the geological settings etc. Well, as conclusions. This work represents uh, the four compilation uh, of published and a new heat flow data in Mexico. This uh, database uh, will be indispensable to to interpret uh, to interpretations of, of the stored heat uh, reserves in the crust, uh, to to describe heat flow anomalies, and and that uh, data, uh, information that we can use to 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 study another areas more than than just a uh, focus in the in the geothermal fields and well as a future work uh, the constant updated of, of heat flow measurements uh, to to reveal low medium and high enthalpy resources yeah. thank you mr Espinosa. thank you